Hello! Today I want to talk about the creepiest job in the entire world. What is that? Ventriloquism! Yes, now I've never tried ventriloquism before. Aren't you? No, I, I don't want to. Aren't you? No, I don't want to. But I can't help it because do you know what ventriloquism was to start with before, before anything? No, what was ventriloquism? Ventriloquism was being possessed by the dead. It was a way of trying to contact the dead or the gods. And you would go and your uh, your sort of spirit animal would uh, would contact the dead for you. Well, through you, really. Sometimes you didn't actually have a puppet. I don't think you had a puppet in the in olden days, really. Didn't you? No, you didn't have a puppet in the olden days. So you just had it through yourself. And you would just talk, talk, talk to the dead. And, and you'd just be like... The dead. See, I can't do it because I'm not a ventriloquist. But they used to be possessed by the dead. Anyway, this is um, this is uh, this is Edgar Allan Crow. Yeah. See, um, this is a raven. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I don't really see. There's a lot of modern ventriloquists that aren't very good but they still do it anyway and uh, there was a couple of people that did it on the radio Charlie McCarthy and um, also uh, Educating Archie in this country they did it on the radio ventriloquism on the radio and apparently Nina Conti is going to do it too so I'm not really very familiar with Nina Conti's work although I've seen it recently in something and that's what got me talking with somebody about the nature of ventriloquism the only things I know about ventriloquism apart from things that I've just told you there is I was actually starting to write a book about two years ago yeah and um, it was about a, a ventriloquist from the Victorian era Ah. And and he finished in about 1940, and he was actually called Walt, Walter Lambert. His name was, and he had a uh, an alter ego. An alter ego. Yes, an alter ego called uh, Lydia Dreams. Ah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, uh, Edgar. Um, his alter ego was like a saucy nurse, and he was also also a painter. He painted a huge painting called Popularity. Popularity, yes, popularity, which, um, which, uh, which, uh, it's actually in the, the London Museum, the, the London Museum, um, near the London Wall, mm. and it's got all, all the popular music hall acts of the day, it's got Little Titch, who was like a stilt walk, he's like a little thing, and he, little thing, little man, and he, uh, he, he sort of walked on his, um, whoops, and he was quite good, and Vesta Tilly, who was a, an impersonator, a male impersonator, she's a woman, but she impersonated men. Ah, that's very weird. Yes, it is a bit weird. But um, also Vesta Victoria, who wasn't a male impersonator, who was just a common or garden singer. Ah. Yes, singer. So um, they were in it, and uh, obviously uh, the other one, Dan Lino, was a sort of clown. But um, Walter Lambert, he was a ventriloquist. He was quite an unusual ventriloquist. Oh, unusual. Well, he was unusual in that he he actually had like big, huge, life-size automaton sort of dummies, and he had like a whole act where um he would um sorry to move you then um to he actually he was dressed as a saucy nurse sort of a drag act so that's one act you think and he also had all these dummies all these people who you think that I, they actually turned out to be just like mechanical at the end of it because he would just like he would just do the whole act a comedy a comedy act a comedian and um, he'd have like a little boy in bed sick that'd sit up and ah oh, and um and he would uh he would actually uh he he sort of and it was an old man, and he'd sort of be all busty nurse over the old man. And uh, they were sort of really realistic. You see the dummies in, in the London Museum, and uh, they were quite realistic. They, they, they actually had human teeth. I don't think they had human eyes. They did have human hair, and they were, they were sort of, uh, they were horrible, actually. They were really, really quite bizarre and um, creepy. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not explaining this very well. Well, I, I've never seen it, see? I've just heard about it. No, I've heard about it. I've read about it. He, he'd he have these things, and at the end it was real that they were all fake. But all the way through it, if you haven't seen the app before, you just think, what a pretty nurse treating all the... Oh, it's hilarious that the, 
the japes and, and getting up with, oh look that's just amazing and then at the end of it um you know <laughs> they were all they were all not real and it was all him being creepy and and being um possessed by demons ah. yeah demons now i'm not ventriloquist ah, which is just as well although just having ah, just having this sock on my hand ah, is quite disturbing Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can see why people thought that they were being possessed. I don't even know what the sock is doing. It could have been doing anything. I'm going to have to look back at this video and see. So it's it's a good job I'm not then trying to Chris really because this is really quite... Hmm. See you then. Bye-bye.